show is going to be on on Super Bowl Sunday, where we and to have a you know a history of the Super Bowl and you know, all-time Super Bowl players. Oh, they're so good, they made it longer. Uh, I don't know about that, but it's one of those things that I don't know if it's good television or not, but it sure was fun to see all this play. Like these guys right here are having fun now. I mean, you know, it's a reunion, they, they're, they're back, and you know, you put the logs on a, on a, on a bail of hay. I mean, they don't even give them a golf cart. All right, all right, so I have got to get this off of my chest. Hi everybody, this is Greg and welcome to this channel. This channel is dedicated to the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. So I, I do read each and every comment and I try to uh, respond to as many comments as I possibly can, but I, I wanted to kind of respond to a couple of comments. Uh, uh, really, it had to do with my last video, and I just want to clear some things up. Obviously, there are some football fans uh, that, you know, kind of like Daniel Snyder. They think that he's done a very good job with the football team, with the Redskins, and they think that any talk of wanting him out is just rubbish and it's a uh, leftist. I'm trying to, to really not make this very political because I am not a very political person myself. The only thing I will tell you is, yeah, I do tend to be more conservative as opposed to liberal, but this is not a political channel, so I am going to leave it at that. I did want to address this thing about where I stand as far as how I feel about the issues that have surrounded the Washington football team in the past year or so. So first of all, I was an, an opponent against changing the name Washington Redskins. As you can see, I have Redskins stuff in the back. I'm wearing a Redskins jersey. I have my Washington Redskins coffee mug. So do you think that I was all for changing the name of the Washington Redskins. If you think so, then you are probably not watching my videos all the way through. I always took the approach that if it offends the specific type of people that it is kind of centered around, which being in this case, the Native Americans, if it offends them, then it is up to the Native Americans to decide if the name should change. I think I've probably said that in past videos. To me, it was not up to me being a white person who has no Native American blood running through my veins, nor any other race, because it honestly has nothing to do with any of us. It has everything to do with how the Native Americans felt about this. And there were polls taken saying that really the results were that 90% or so, it was a large majority of the Native American population, you know, were, were not offended or just didn't care about the name of the Washington Redskins. Honestly, they were more worried about issues going on within their own community, such as alcoholism, poverty, that sort of thing, you know, the things that are extremely important in today's society. They were not worried about the Washington Redskins name. And now you had certainly some within that community or some within some tribes, I guess, who maybe were offended. And that's why I always took the position of let them vote on this. If the majority says you need to change it or if the majority says I don't care, just leave it like it is, then let that be the outcome. And folks, you may not agree with this, but here's the, honestly, here's the bottom line. The reason why the name got changed has nothing to do with suddenly not wanting to offend anybody or finally deciding that, you know what, I, I'm part of the woke uh, culture now and, you know, I want to make a, a difference in society. No, no, it had nothing to do with that. It had all to do with money. Because the thing was is that 
sponsors started pulling their sponsorships out of uh, the NFL, out of the Washington Redskins, and then suddenly places like Amazon, hmm, you know, the NFL, uh, football fanatics, and other places like that stopped selling Washington Redskins um, stuff. Dan Snyder was getting hit pretty hard in the pocketbook. That is the reason why he realized, I'm gonna to have to change this. The minority owners were really trying to force Daniel Snyder into this change as well. So that's the reason why the Washington Redskins name really got dropped. Now, do I agree with it? As a football fan, as a Washington Redskins fan, that I have been a fan since 1981. So for anybody to think that I am not a real fan of this franchise does not know me whatsoever. The fact is that I hated the name change. I hated it, but I'm getting used to it. I'm accepting it because you know what? I am okay with moving on. What's done is done. Do I hate it? Yes, I hate it. I'm willing to accept change because it's happening whether if I like it or not. Now, do I think that we should just go and you know, change things just for the sake of change? No, I am not for cancel culture or any of that stuff whatsoever. And there are probably a lot of Redskins fans who are, and there are a lot of Redskins fans who were probably glad to see the name get retired. And you know what? That is fine. We all have our own opinions about it. It is just fine. The truth is, is that I will probably continue to call them Redskins because that is what I have called them for 30, 40 years. And it has nothing to do with anything about me being racist, or it has nothing to do with the, the fact that I am unwilling to accept change. It's just the simple fact. That has been the identity of this team, and I have never, ever even thought of that name as being tied to something that was offensive to anybody. I didn't really honestly start hearing about any of that until the last several years. Whenever I heard that term, Redskins, I always thought of the football team. Yes, I thought of it being, well, you know, the football team, is a part of uh, Native American imagery and all of that, but I never thought that it was being used in an offensive or derogatory way. In fact, I think the team was trying to use it in the most honorable way as possible. Now, should they have stuck with Braves? Should they have stuck with something that sounded a little better? You know, that, that's the question that's never probably going to be truthful, truthfully answered. But <laughs> the long and short of all of this is the fact that I am a huge diehard Washington Redskins fan, Washington football fan. I don't mind calling them the football team because they are no longer the Redskins officially and legally but they will always be the Washington Redskins to me in my heart. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Maybe some of you will, that is fine. But the truth is, the fact is that I still love the Indian chief head, you know, the, this, this logo. It was created by a Native American artist. Let me repeat that. This logo was created by a Native American artist. I don't see how that logo can be offensive. But then again, I am just a white dude who has no Native American blood in me. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about and that's fine. But just coming from my experiences, I never once looked at that logo and said, you know what, this kind of makes fun of Native Americans and, you know, I'm glad that we use them as a cartoon character. And honestly, I never thought, I thought that, honestly thought that that logo was more respectful than the logo that you would see with the Cleveland Indians who have also dropped their name. But all of that, you know, 
It all comes back to the, the fact that I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be content. Not everybody is ever going to be happy and not everybody is always going to be content. There is always going to be some issue with something because that is just the way people are and that is the way that the world seems to work. That's the reason why you have countries going to war with each other and you have racism and you have um, political parties against everybody or each other all the time or maybe maybe that was a slip of the tongue maybe they are truly against everybody that that's just how it is in the world so I'm going to end this video but I just want to make sure the people understood where I stood in in terms of the name I still saw the Washington Redskins on the field minus of course the uh, the chief head on the side and I still had those same butterflies watching them play and I still had that same pride in that team when I saw them win and grieved when I saw them lose so the truth is it really was going to take this year to decide how much am I invested in this football team and obviously I am very invested creating this YouTube channel to support them and to show my fandom um, and how much that I love this franchise. And if they're called something else in 2022, which they will be, then I will probably support them, even if it's a name that I may not necessarily care as much about. Hey, you know what? It still comes down to the fact that I love this football team. I love this franchise. Held to the Redskins, held to the Washington football team. You guys, take care.